need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Peter McGrail. Mate, it has been a long, 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 long time. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Oh, good, lad, yourself. Nice to see you. Yeah, good, mate. Good, good. I'm looking forward to Lyndon's chance to win the IBO world title tonight. We're only half an hour away from that fight, so I won't ask you, because by the time this goes out, he'll either have won it or not. Um, but yeah, how have you been keeping? Obviously, your last fight was five, six months ago. Um, so what have you been getting up to in between? I don't know what I was injured when I had, a, I had a bit of a sore shoulder, so that's obviously why I haven't boxed for so long. But being uh, being in the gym, working hard in the gym, even with one hand, know what I mean, for, for, a, for a few weeks, for a few months. But we're, um, we're back now, we're, we're good to go. We're training 100%, starting sparring next week and um, training towards October 21st, lad. Get my first title and start climbing these rankings, lad. It's um, been a long time coming, but. It's, it's nights like this what we what we work hard for and what I've been saying all my life for. So just looking forward to uh, putting the show on October twenty first. So you were training with one hand, so you were punching with one hand as well. Is it one of them where when you're in training and you want to throw combinations, you got the temptation to throw the other hand, but you know you can't. It must be difficult just to train with one hand. Yeah, it is, lad. It's probably happened a few times now over obviously the course of me career, but. Uh, the positive side to it is you get your you're working on your your, your hand that you're obviously not injured with, so like one hundred percent work into into my jab, then my jabs are gonna become a beast, you know what I mean? Even though you're working on both hands all the time anyway, but it's just like there's always a positive side to things, you know what I mean? And and obviously we was working hard on my jab and my lead up, just my lead hand in general, but uh, as I said, we're back now both hands and, and we're flying in the gym. Will we talk about the opponent? Um Echo Arena again. Stuff of dreams, isn't it? Ah, oh, lad, it's um, I think it's like me what fifth fight now. You know what I mean? Already, it's only me eighth fight. So out of um, sorry, no, yeah, it will be me fifth fight. I've had four in the Echo out of seven. I've had the other one in Liverpool, one Dubai, one Japan. But it's, uh, it's becoming me home, lad. You know what I mean? And my heart made up that um, I'm gonna be picking up my first title later. You know what I mean? And hopefully in the well, not hopefully in the future, it's gonna be world titles. But it's just great to. to have my own fan, yeah, the own fans there, the family, uh, all my friends, and even just like people who I don't know from Liverpool, there, everyone just gets behind me in there, and it's uh, it's gonna be a belter, gonna be a good night. So I remember the debut. Yeah. How fucking good was that? I remember speaking after. That was, I mean, just as a night of boxing at the Echo, it's fantastic. But you walking out then, I mean, that was it's brilliant. Ah, uh, lad, it was heavy. It was fucking. That was like, obviously, it was an hard time around. Basically, it was an hard time. I had the Olympics, didn't I? And uh, obviously, my head was blazed over that. But it was a quick turnaround, lad. And then to, f for a night like that, it just it just helped getting over getting over the Olympics. The the, the crowd, the, me coming out, song dancing in the moonlight. Everything about that night was just a belter, and uh, yeah, be with me for like that was boss, wasn't really. it? We're gonna run it back on yeah. October the twenty first. Um, tell us about Fran Mendoza. When you look at the record and you see seventeen and zero, obviously people are gonna be a bit like, whoa, tough fight. Um, but yeah, for a lot of boxing fans will be an unknown quantity. So tell us a little bit about what Fran brings to the ring. Yeah, um, to, to be honest, Oscar, I haven't, um, I haven't watched much of him at, at this moment. Is that normal with you and opponents? You not like to do too much? Yeah, to be honest, I just focus on myself. Do you know what I mean? Make make sure I'm fit, ready. Make sure the weight's good, and um, I leave that down to my coaching team, uh, Paul Stevenson and Young Freeze. They like. They, they pick me matches, you know what I mean? Obviously, as a, as a fighter, which I believe any fighter should be, we'll, we'll fight anyone, we'll get in the ring with anyone, and, and all, all, all of us in our gym. Um, the work that we're putting in, the demands of sparring, that we're, we're ready to get in the ring with anyone, do you know what I mean? But it's obviously, it's about taking the right steps at the right time, and um, me, me coaching team, um, match room, believe this is the right opponent for me, so we're, uh, we're just training towards this, but as I said, I, as long as I'm 100% and uh, I'm getting around to sparring, and everything I'm doing, but uh, as you said, 17 and 0. Um, I don't know how many knockouts he's had, but Colombian's going to be fit, strong game. Do you know what I mean? So I'm expecting, a, I'm expecting a, a good night's work, but at a, a brilliant fight where I'll be able to showcase my skills. We'll end the night 17 and 1. Let me tell you that. What belt have we got on the line? It's the uh, WBA Intercontinental. 
so just kind of push into get yourself ranked and get towards the top which is obviously where you want to be yeah yeah that's the one lad just start climbing the rankings and take it step by step but this is the um, this is the step i've got to take now it's mendoza 17 and all and i think it's always going to be going on october the 21st and in terms of super bantam at world level um there is potential that the belts at some point may kind of fragment obviously yeah, because yeah, yeah. of Inoue having them all now yeah. um, just a quick one on him before we talk about the potential paths that yeah, could yeah. come in the future um, he is a fucking superstar isn't he? yeah nah he's a beast obviously we was out there in um, we was out there in Japan when he beat Butler I boxed on that building night you know what I mean so it was good to, it's good to watch him live like because when I get there he, he still might be there I reckon he might have possibly moved up whether he does or not but he's a uh, could be a potential fight down the line you know what I mean and it was mad way I ended up on a show with him and Obviously, he was there with me coaches and that, we got to watch him live, but yeah, he, he's obviously a phenomenal talent, isn't he, and um, a brilliant boxer, and obviously the record speaks for itself, but uh, at this moment in time, I'm just focused on Mendoza, me, and, and if something pops down the line with the likes of Inui or whoever, it's going to be at the world title level, but uh, at the moment, it's just Mendoza, and the, what did I say, the Intercontinental WBA, that's the one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know you'll be tunnel vision for that, but obviously, I've got to ask the, the sort of questions. Um, if it's a new that'd be amazing. But if the belts do fragment, obviously you've got a team like Matchroom and your management team behind you. They'll be pushing you to get to the right places, etc. So it wouldn't be out of the equation the next 18 months to see you fighting for a world title. Nah, a million percent. Nah, get get this title, and I don't understand. I don't know where uh, I'll get put in the rankings, but I think it'll give me a world ranking. And then from then on, it's just keep putting the heavy performances and keep climbing the rankings, and then and I'm gonna get me shot at some point. You know what I mean? So just about doing what I've been doing, putting the work in every day, training hard, me, my team, my brother, all the lads in the gym, and um, our time's coming, the RT, haven't had tonight, our time is coming real soon. I'm sure the echo will turn out for you yeah, once again, Peter, top man, appreciate you under. Lights, lad, I'm fucking sweating, yeah. It's <laughs> you need to not be proof. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 